Hello, boys and girls. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And we've been doing free agent talk and trades. We just did Bobrovsky. We traded Malkin. We did Debrinkat. So sub yourself up because they're pretty interesting. And usually, what I end up doing, what I do is I look at insider reports. I put logic to it. I've been I study the league. I do it for a living of every NHL team and I try to find logical places where these people may go and I also look at whether the rumors are logical at all to begin with and then go from there but we've done a lot of exciting ones and it was it's been fun it's especially talking to uh, people about each I like seeing the value of players or how people view other players and all of that sort of thing like that Congratulations to the Colorado Avalanche for winning the cup, by the way. Uh, I even more congratulations because I picked the Colorado Avalanche before the season started to win the cup. So that helped out a lot. Yeah, um, had a little bet on that. But now today we're doing something completely different because there's no rumor about this person moving on. There's no, there is some slight possibility that it could happen. There's, you know, because we're talking about salary cap and all of those sort of things like that. There has been some talk, but I, I doubt it very much. Just won the Hart Trophy. And the reason why I want to do this is I like to see... Uh, there's a whole lot of talk about Austin Matthews. Whether he deserved to win the Hart or all of those sort of things like that. How is he compared to other player teams in the league? Now... I get a lot of people asking me, actually, you know, what would it take to get Austin Matthews out of Toronto? Well, if you really, like, I'm sure a lot of people would love to have an Austin Matthews on their team. But when we look at this, we're going to, I'm going to ask you, do you really, really want Austin Matthews on your team? Because we're going to look at what I think the value would be to have to give back to even come close to getting Austin Matthews out of Toronto. And then you can tell me whether you do it. I'm going to do it for every single team in the league. Not in this one video. Probably do about seven this video and then I'll do another seven. So again, you're going to want to be subbed up because the frolic is going to be woo, just like that. It's going to be so much fun. All right. So, we're going to look at Austin Matthews, how great of a player he is. And then we're going to go to every team in the league, and we're going to say, this is what you give up. And I'm going to ask every fan out there of each team, would you do that for Austin Matthews? What would you give up for Austin Matthews? This should be fun. Okay, this is all part of the Steel Flyers All Sports Network, by the way. Steel Flyers, if you like all sports, all four major sports, check it out. And uh, the Pearl of Wisdom Show, which I'm going to start doing more often, I think. It's the Pearl of Wisdom Show. Austin Matthews. Okay. Look at this. This guy is 24 years old. He just scored 60 goals at the young age of 20. He hasn't even ripened yet. He already has a 60-goal season in an era. Well, I mean, it's a little more offensive in, of an era now, but hasn't been done too often. Uh, hasn't been done in a very long time, and he doesn't look like he's slowing down. He's been putting a point a game up since he was 20, what is it, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20 years old. And before, and 40 goals when he was 19. This kid, this guy is amazing. And I no wonder that people are messaging me and Writing my le writing me letters, of course. Don't forget to bring your letters. Guido loves to go down there in the mail room and grab your letters every morning. Uh, saying, you know, what would it take to get Austin Matthews? So, all right, let's start off with the Anaheim Ducks. For some reason, let's say Toronto goes, okay, we're gonna we're not gonna we're we're not gonna worry about cap space. I, I mean, sorry, we are gonna worry about cap space. Austin Matthews asking for like $15 million a year in his next contract because he's got a contract coming up 
in two years after next year actually so like what if he's asking like 15 million and they just decide you know what we've been capped our cap has been messed up from the last time we did all this so we'll, maybe we'll look a different direction i don't think it's going to happen i don't think it's likely but what would it take to get austin matthews right now and this would be assuming you'd be willing to pay him whatever he's going to pay now also he has a no movement clause all that crap like that this is not really based on reality that it's going to happen as much as what the value is for an austin matthews to your team let's say he doesn't mind going to anaheim what's anaheim going to have to give up for a 60 goal 24 year old 60 goal scoring stud who actually is good defensively well i'll tell you right off the bat trevor zegris is off the table trevor zegris I don't know. And I, people say, well, Trevor Zegers could be as good as Matthews. Well, he's not projecting that way. Matthews was putting up a point a game be two years before Trevor Zegers got him at, at the same age. At the same age, Austin Matthews, at 21 years old, was putting up 73 points in 68 games. Over a point a game. Okay, Zegers is a special player, but sorry, he's not as good as Austin Matthews and is not likely ever going to be even close to Austin Matthews and still extremely good. That just talks about how good Austin is, not anything against Trevor Zegers. I think it's going to be Zegers and Jamie Drysdale just to get the ball rolling. That might not even do it. Well, would you give up Zegers and Drysdale? Actually, I would go Zegers, Drysdale. I would, like, if I'm doing it, if I'm Anaheim and you want to build around a guy like, build around a, a player, I'd go Zegers, Drysdale, D Dale, and Gibson. If Gibson's willing to go to Toronto, I would do all of that. And I love Gibson. Or you're talking about building around one of the top five best players in the league. I think best top five best players in the league. Would you do that? Would you give up all that for Matthews? Tell me in the comment section. Sub yourself up, Anaheim fans. Let me know. Would you, you'd still have Mason McTavish out of all that. And your rebuild would be well on course. Now, again, yes, I know. Matthews would have to waive his no trade, blah, 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 blah. But this is more about value and how much you value a player. Do you value Matthews to give up that much for him? Tell me. Let me know. Arizona fan? Arizona. Okay. Everything. Your whole team. <laughs> I don't even think. Okay. It would take the 2000. It would take the two, 2023 first in Jacob Chickren. And the reason, I don't even, it might take more than that. Because if you got Matthews, you may not be bad enough to be able to get in that top two. And that's what they would want. The only, that's what they would be hoping for is that you get in the top two. Like if I, if it was going to be Matthews, and of course he's from Arizona, right? Uh, I, okay, if I'm Toronto, I'm like, I'm like this. For some reason, you're going to trade Matthews. I would say I want your 2023 first. And if it's not a top two pick, then we finish the deal then. Something like that. Like we, you add more to it then. That probably won't work. But if it's not, then the 2024 first too. Now, I don't think Toronto would want to do that because... You know, they want to win now. But if he had to leave and Arizona was the only place he was willing to go to, which I don't know why he would want to, that's what I would be asking. 2023, and if I get the top one of the top two picks, then, which of course is Michka and uh, Bedard, then, and then Arizona's like, no, nah, forget it. We're going to suck really bad next year. But we'll get Bedard anyways. Why would we want Matthews at $11.5 million when we can get Bedard anyways, right? So you might not even want to do that. 
The other thing you could possibly do is Jacob Chikrin and uh, a top three protected next two firsts. I don't know if I do that if I'm Toronto, to tell you the honest truth. Or a top three protected 2023 first and unprotected 2024 first and Jacob Chikrin. Maybe. I don't, I don't. I don't know if I'd do that if I'm Toronto at all. Tell me what you guys think, Arizona fans. What else would you throw in there? Because I don't. They're not. They don't really have interest in anyone else in your roster. Maybe Barrett Heighton. Okay, throw Barrett Heighton in there. Let's see. How old is he? Twenty-two. Looks like he's going to be like a second line center, something like that. Uh, Barrett Heighton, Chikrin, and your next two firsts with 2023 protected top three. I don't even know if that'll get that done, but would you be willing to do it, Arizona fans? Comment in the comment section. Let me know how much you would give up to have Austin Matthews on your roster. All right, next. Boston Bruins. Man, oh, man, this would be. In, first of all, I mean, like you said, just the idea of Toronto trading with Boston, <laughs> Matthews going to Boston is insane. But this is more about the value of it the value of Austin Matthews to your team. If for some reason, God knows how, you had an opportunity to get Austin Matthews, what would you give up off the Boston Bruins roster? Step yourself up and tell me this in my, in, uh, on my YouTube channel. Comment in the comment section and let me know. All right? David Pasternak, I think, would be gone, 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 gone for Austin Matthews. Pasternak and McAvoy? Ooh, man. I don't even know if I do that, to tell you the honest truth. McAvoy's a beast. Most underrated. Maybe straight across from McAvoy. Would you do straight across Matthews for McAvoy? I think I'd do that. But it would be difficult, honestly. McAvoy's north level. Uh, Pasternak and Swayman. How's that? Pasternak and Swayman for Matthews. I'm... Oh, Swayman is... 23 years old, he's just unbelievable. And that having that type of goaltender that I think he likely could be is how you win cups, man. Although Colorado just did it with Darcy Kemper. If you can build your team up, right? Darcy Kemper probably isn't even a, like a top 10 goaltender in the league. But if you have it, there's a much better chance you win a cup. And Boston wouldn't have any goaltenders or Linus all market they'd have to find a goaltender over that but you could that I mean they're they're sort of right on rebuild mode and if they grab Matthews they could rebuild around Matthews and I know you're gonna say you know he's got to waive his no trade and he's only 11 all this stuff like this but this is just about how much you value Matthews I want to find out what how much people value Matthews Pasternak, Swayman, McAvoy straight across. Maybe add a little bit like a first or something like that. Maybe more. Toronto fans, that'll be interesting when I toss this to Toronto. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, go in, Okay, let, Toronto fans, if you're out there, when you're out there too, tell, let me know in the comment section what you think about all this. Next, Buffalo. Again, the odds of them going to Buffalo from Toronto is so very slim, but my the whole part of this point of this is what would you give up for him if you were the Buffalo uh, on off of your team? I would be like half the team, seriously. Tage Thompson gone. By the way, to how underrated did that his, uh, was his performance from last year? Thirty eight goals in twenty uh, in uh, seventy eight games, and nobody even hardly talked about it. And he's six foot six, two hundred fifteen pounds, like. Is he, he's not as good as Matthews, but he's damn good. He, he And it took him a while to get there, too. So, like, he's a late bloomer. Sort of a late bloomer. But I think it's going to take Tage Thompson, Alex Tuck, or Owen Power and Tuck or something like that. Tage Thompson, Alex Tuck, and maybe your first this year. Tage Thompson, Alex Tuck in your first this year. Owen Power, 
Do you, I, I bet you how many Buffalo fans say that they wouldn't trade Owen Power, Power straight across. Would you do Owen Power straight across for Matthews? Matthews, man. I love Owen Power. I'm not sure what completely sure what his upside is. I know as a 19 year old in the eight games he played, he looked great. He looked really good, and he looks like he's going to definitely be a top pairing defenseman. Is he going to be a Norris level? Possibly. It's hard to say. Six foot six and can skate the way he does and pass and stuff like that. I think it's pretty likely. How about Rasmus Dahlin? Rasmus Dahlin, Tage Thompson, and like Dylan Cousins or. Jack Quinn or something like that. Would you do that? Cousins, Quinn, and Darlene. Wow. Thompson, Quinn, and Darlene. For Matthews. I think that's kind of what it's going to have to take. Because you're going to have so many people in on this. That if, if he were to be available to everybody, that is. That's, that's, uh, and we're going on, we're talking about value. How much do you value a guy like Matthews on your team? Uh, I, I almost didn't do Calgary at all because, uh, like, they'd have to give up their whole team. Kachuk, Lindholm, Oliver Shylington. I mean, seriously, you wouldn't have a team left after all this. Kachuk, Lindholm, and Shylington probably wouldn't get it done. And a first round pick. Like, it's going to take a package that's just stupid. Kachuk, Shylington, and a first. Kachuk, Lindholm, Shylington, and a first round pick. At least. And maybe even. I'm serious. Like, you would even. Could even have to add. If you look at all the other. Like, Connor Zari, Kachuk, uh, Lindholm. It, it's going to. Shylington. Huge. And, and, you know, actually, Kachuk's probably going to get $10 million a year here. Now, again, Matthews would need another contract after this. Would I do it? I love Matthew Kachuk. He had 104 points in 82 games. It's not like, you know, maybe Kachuk and Lindholm. Maybe I'm, I'm undervaluing Kachuk here, I think, a tad. 104 points in 82 games as a 24-year-old. He had pretty much the same amount of points. He just didn't have as many goals. But he's a winger. So maybe just Lindholm and Kachuk for Matthews. Would you do it? Lindholm and Kachuk for Matthews. And I know Calgary fans. I'm not saying Matthews is on. I'm not making fake news here. I'm not saying that Matthews is on the block or available or anything. I'm just doing this to see how other people value Matthews compared to their own team. Let me know. What would you give up for Matthews? Comment in the comment section. Sub up to my channel. Comment in the comment section. And maybe I'll do a video on who wins this. Who wins Math Austin Matthews? Next, Carolina. Aho Jarvis. Aho Jarvis for sure, right off the top. Maybe even more. Would you? Let's just see if you would do Aho Jarvis for Austin Matthews. I think it would probably be more. How about? Because Jarvis is going to be huge. Like he, he's twenty years old. He already got forty points. Aho Jarvis and like a prospect or something like that, or a first round pick. Aho Jarvis and a first round pick for Matthews. Again, I'm not saying Matthews is available, is not rumored or anything like that. All right. I'm just seeing what other people would value, how other people would value Matthews. Would I do it? I think I would probably do it. Yeah, he's that good. He's that good to me. I can find wingers. Aho is great, but is he? He's not Matthews great. Jarvis is great. He's not Matthews great. Both of them combined, maybe, I guess. But I'm going to take that superstar first, especially in Carolina. I mean, 
He would he brings people to the seats. That shot is insane. I'm doing it. Are you doing it? Tell me in the comment section. Let me know. Um, but sub up to my channel, Carolina fans. Tell me in the comment section if you would do such a thing. Chicago Blackhawks. Um, I almost skipped this one too because they just don't. I don't think they have enough. But it, it's going to take the picks. Because they're going to suck for the next couple of years. It's going to take the picks. That's what it would have to do. It would have to be this. Like, it's not a for sure that they're going to be the worst team in the league next year. Although, if they don't get a goaltender, it might be. They don't have a goaltender, really. <laughs> so, uh, you would take that. Yeah, but I think it would take. Would you do this to... This year and next year's first. Because if you got Austin Matthews, you're not going to be worse than the league next year, right? So this year's first, which is... Uh, what, did, what did they have? What, what were you this year? Oh, no, you don't have, even have this year's first. That's right. Next year's first. And Kirby Doc... I mean, I don't think you have enough. I just don't think there's enough in Chicago to even come close here. I don't want Seth Jones. Kirby Dock in next year's first. Maybe. Kirby Dock in next year's first. Would you do that for Matthews? Because there's a really good chance you're not going to get Bedard if you get Matthews. But Bedard pretty much is Matthews. So you're getting Bedard, except you're paying him right away. It would probably increase the, your rebuild time, maybe. Uh, but I, I probably wouldn't do it if I was Chicago. Let me know. If, what would you give up for Matthews if you could give it up? And I'm not saying he's available. I'm not making rumors here. I'm not saying that Toronto's wanting to trade him. This is just to see what value you would give up. And I, I finally, I went to uh, Colorado. I'm going to end off here in Colorado because this is going to be a debate like crazy. And this is kind of the reason why I did this. Would you trade Nate McKinnon straight across for Matthews? Nate McKinnon straight across for Matthews. 88 points in 65 games. He's almost a 100-point player. Matthews is a 60-goal scorer. To me, it's like a wash almost. McKinnon's 26 years old, though. Matthews is 24. Would you trade Nathan McKinnon straight across from Matthews? That's what I'm asking you guys, Colorado fans. Now, if you weren't going to do that, if for some reason you could get away with it, would you trade Kale McCarr straight across from Matthews? I would not. I would not trade Kale McCarr straight across from Matthews. Would you? I, I, I think Kale McCarr is like just below McDavid as the best, second best player in the league, as ex excluding goaltenders. Just for forwards or defensemen, Kale McCarr is the second best player in the league, including Austin Matthews. So that's it. I I wouldn't do it. What do you guys think? Would you trade Kale McCarr? Besides that, you just have to give up a whole crap load of stuff. Your whole team, pretty much. If you're not going to do one of those two things, Miko Rantanen plus, and you got, you might say that we're undervaluing Miko Rantanen here. But he's a winger. So be cool ranting in Alex Newhook in a first or something like that. Uh, and so you're asking me why Austin Matthews would be available? I'm not saying that they are. The only reason why he might be is if he really overpriced himself and showed that maybe he doesn't want to be in Toronto, you know, for his next contract. But I'm more doing this to see what other people find the value for Austin Matthews is. All right, that was my full. I'm going to do all the rest of the teams in the league. We'll see how this one turns out, how much people enjoy it. Uh, I have, I, I love doing this. I love seeing what other people value other players. Um, it's amazing to me how different people see each player. I just did one on uh, Josh Anderson. Now, I follow analytics. I don't follow them closely. But if I see a player and everybody likes him and I look at it and go, I, this guy doesn't look like he plays well defensively. I will ask my analytics friends, and I have tons, 
and they will tell me. And Josh Anderson, as it turns out, my eye test was correct, is terrible defensively. But people just love, love, love him because he's big, he's fast, he can score. They don't quite often pay attention to the fact that a lot of, a lot of people just think because somebody hits in the defensive zone or block shots, they're good defensively. No. Quite often there's players out there that have to block shots a lot because they're out of position a lot. It's not, a, it's not necessarily a good thing that you block shots. Matthews is good defensively, and he's amazing offensively. So I would do most of these deals that I have in here for Austin Matthews. He's just that much of a powerhouse for his talent. Now the question is, do I want to pay $14, $15 million a year on the cap and be stuck like Toronto is? And that can be part of this conversation too. Let me know. In the comment section, sub yourself up. This should be exciting and fun. Have a great day, everybody. Okay, bye.